everyone. This is Pam, Rose City Stitcher, coming to you with a May update video. Today is May 31st, so happy Memorial Day to those that are celebrating that in the States. And I'm going to go ahead and give you, uh, show you what I worked on in the month of May and my June plans. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, I got a few new subscribers, so thank you to my new subscribers that have popped in. I hope you like what you see. And thanks again to all my returning subscribers for coming by to see what I worked on in May. So uh, for my May was uh, Mirabil Mirabilia Mania. So I worked on five of my Mirabilias and I started one new Mirabilia. And I worked on a couple of other things too. So well, first I want to show you all of my Mirabilias that I worked on. I did actually work on all five of them and I did have the new start. So let me show you those. Let's save the, the new start to last. Okay, so these aren't in any particular order. Uh, this is a Solo Trois. And I worked on all of these for approximately five days. I may have had to miss a day here or there. Um, so I really do like my progress. And there she is, she's on flapper, <coughs> opalescent, um, I picture this plus, and I finished out all of the dark pink and purples. So it actually took longer than I expected to. I actually thought I was gonna get finished with the stitching, but that didn't happen, it took a little longer. So. There she is, and she's actually what was called for Whipco for June, so I will probably pull her back out and work on her a little bit more because she's supposed to be a finish for this year. Uh, next up was Fairy Treasures. There she is. And she's on Christmas in Williamsburg by Under the Sea Fabrics. And there's my progress. I was just continuing on with that yellow. So pretty good progress on that. I'd hope to finish that yellow, but it didn't quite happen, but I've gotten pretty close. So it was really nice being able to work, you know, five days on all of these. I could actually see some good progress being made. So I'm happy, happy with that. Next is Queen Mermaid. There she is. <coughs> and made real good progress on her. A whole lot more of her body done. Because I was about right here on that, that little spot. So there was a good bit of progress done on her. So she, oh, and I also did the, that brown, this um, right here, I did that too. And this is um, a 16 count blue from um, Fabrics by LJ. And unfortunately, I do still have the cough. I'm almost over it, but um, I'm still coughing a little bit. So I will take a drink of water here and there. And then I worked on Dressmaker's Daughter with Terry Lee Crafts. We're doing this one together. And I was stitching on the spring section, which was this one here. Mermaid. And made a little bit more progress on this one than I did with the the other season. So you can see got, got a little bit more done. And this is on Oaken 28 count. So we'll start on the next season this month, uh, well in June. Uh, June like 20th, 21st, I think is the first day of summer. So then we'll be starting on that one. <coughs> no 
last one. And it's the one I'm most proud of. This is C. Flora. And I actually finished the stitching on her. And she's on Under the Sea Fabrics, Mermaid C. And look at her. She is all done except for the beading and crinic. I even did the back stitching on her face and her hands and her arms. I love it. Turned out so good. So all I need to do is put her beads on. I'm going to try, I'm going to really try to get that done this summer. Pick a day and get that beading done. She's not real big, so I don't think it'll take a real long time to do her beading. Um, let's see. She does have, have a pretty good bit of beads, but I want to see her all sparkly. So those were the mirrors, the whips. So um, I'd ask you all to vote for me on which one to start for my new start. It was between South Seas Mermaid, um, Roses of Province, and Bluebell. <coughs> and the Bluebell won hands down. So I started Bluebell. Oops. And she's on a Bee Stitch Me fabric. And I'm real happy with my progress. Hey, look, I finished that whole top thing that she's holding. Little umbrella. I finished all that. So next time I pick this up, I'll be ready to start on her. So, so super happy with my progress. So it was a good feeling to actually make some pretty significant progress on uh, all of my mirrors this month. And then I did work on um, two other projects. Um, I decided to pull out, you know, I told you the secret garden. I wasn't sure if I was going to continue on or not. So I decided to pull it out and just see if it spoke to me or not, or if I needed to UFO it. And I actually started really enjoying it, especially once I stitched the bird. So um, there's my progress. That's not coming out very good. This is a lot more of a brown. But uh, last time you saw it, all I had were the words and the key. So I've done the flower and the birds. So I'm going to keep this one out and just kind of stitch on it some in the mornings. And you got to finish on this one. Because as you can see, it's, it's not real big. I just have to do the other bird and, you know, the flowers in the gate so, so yeah but I'm gonna keep this one out to kind of work work on here and there and then the other one that I worked on was whoops, my Halloween typography I started looking at my Whipco and I was like I need to get caught up since we're mid-year now I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting too behind on my Whipco projects and this one was one that was supposed to be a finish when it was called, and I hadn't finished it yet. This is Halloween typography. So I decided to pull it out and see what I could get done. So I've worked on this just the last couple days. And I got the word spooky and the word Halloween and started the word costumes. So um, I think I'll be able to get this one finished pretty fast. So that way I can cross that off of my whip go. And speaking of whip go, my whip go project for this month was to finish um, Sweet Liberty, and I did love it. I did not stitch all the little stars around because I just didn't think it needed it. I liked it the way it was. <coughs> so there's that. So that was my only finish this month. And that's the other reason. I'm like, gosh, I only have one finish. It's like I'm going to have to get moving to get some more finishes. So that was my one finish. 
and that's pretty much what I worked on the month of May. Um, I said the early mirrors I didn't get to spend as much time on because school was still going on, but uh, once school was out, I was able to make some, some pretty significant progress. So, that brings me to my plans. And I thought and thought about my plans. I just could not figure out what to do. I wanted it to be, I wanted to work on a certain thing. You know, I like the Mirabilia uh, May. And so I was trying to think of what I could do for June. And of course, July is Joan Elliott July and Christmas in July. So I have plenty of things to do for July, but I just did not know what to do for June. And, you know, other people, um, half stitch, cross stitch, she was going to do patriotic uh, for June, but I didn't really want to do that because I had already done patriotic. We had done a patriotic one earlier in the year, so I didn't really want to do that again. And I didn't really have any projects ongoing. Uh, that Sweet Liberty was the last one that I had, and I didn't really want to do new starts. So I decided to do Brenda Gervais June So uh, with a needle and thread because I have five projects started already that are Brenda Gervais. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Brenda Gervais June. I'm going to work on each one for three days and just touch all of those and see what progress I can make on those. Uh, and they fit with my small, medium, large um, pattern like I like to do. So um, I'll show you those. <coughs> and I am going to have one new start. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, let me show you, show you my uh, Whipco first. Uh, Whipco was um, solo, solo toi to, to finish, like I've said. So I'll try to pull that one out and get a little bit more done on it. And the other one picked for June Whipco was Afternoon in Rome. So I'm going to definitely pull this one out. This one I'd like to have a finish. I don't think that'll happen in June. But I'm hoping I can make some pretty good progress. And this is just on a light blue 28 count. So I'm anxious to pull this one out and get back to it. I really do like this project. So I'll be stitching on this one. And then, okay, so now my Brenda Gervais. This is the large Brenda Gervais that I have. This is Summer at Cherry Hill. And this is on Earthen. You saw this one not too long ago. I pulled this one out because this was a whip go that I did uh, do my days I needed to do. And there's where I left off. So I'm just going to work three days on it and see how much more I can get done in three days. <coughs> Excuse me, but it's and then um, brick house sampler. You've seen a lot of this one. This was supposed to be a finish also for Whipco. It's already been called, so I need to get on the ball with this one too. And this is on Wheat Lugana. And there's where I am so far. So we'll see what three days will give me. Um, I'd like to get started on the house. Is what I'd like to do. Be nice if I could get some progress done on the house. Next up is Spring Fling. I haven't worked on this one very much. I'm sorry, my color is it's got it's getting kind of cloudy outside, so it's Stuff's not coming out very good. And this is on uh, Picture This Plus Shubbly. I said a very small start. There it is. That one actually is coming out pretty good. So I'm hoping to get a little more done on this one, make some more progress on that. So, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe at least get the leaves, leaves finished on that branch. That would be good. I'm 
by Brenda Gervais. And this is the, the small, the brick house, spring fling. Those are both uh, mediums. But then Christmas tea is a small. So that's going to be my small category. And this is just on um, a mushroom lagana. And there's my little bit of a start. So I'd like to please finish finish that mouse and maybe get the teapot done. And the last one <coughs> is Hickety Pickety, one of my favorites. This is another medium. And this is on Sandcastle, 28 count. Joe's one. And there's my products. So I've done the wagon. So maybe get up and um, work a little bit more on her and finish what's in the the basket and the wagon. So, hoping to get some pretty good progress on this one. I haven't touched this one in a while and I've been missing it and wanting to work on this one. So, those are my five Brenda Gervais. Like I said, I'm going to do three days a piece on those. And then that brings me to. I'm not going to worry about Fancy Lady this month because I did did that all in May. So I feel like I've made good progress on those. So I'm not going to stitch on a Fancy Lady except maybe a little on Solo Trois since uh, that was a whip go call. So then it comes to um, kits. One of the kits, I really, really need to get this one done. This is one of my oldest whips. All that's left is back stitching. I'm trying to backstitch a little bit at a time, but it's slow going because the backstitching is so tedious on this one. So there's where I am. And you can see I've got all of the jars are now backstitched. I've got the jars backstitched. So now all I need to do is go in and do the flowers. And some of the flowers I done, there in the middle, I had done the flowers. So I just need to go in and get this done because yeah I didn't realize I'd finished all the jars so maybe I could just stitch a jar each day the flowers in a jar each day and then I'd be done and what one two three four I'd be done in pretty much a week if I could do that so that's what I'm going to try now it does have French knots and where there's French knots I was going to put beads or just improvise maybe just leave it with leave it without them so I will have to figure that out on a couple of spots where it has it has those. But yeah, I am ready to get this knocked out. I'm kind of in the mood to stitch on it because it is bright and cheery, you know, for summer. So that's my goal. So hopefully y'all can motivate me to get this knocked out and get this finished because it is a beautiful piece. And I would like to have it hanging up. So, so that's my plan on that and then if I manage to get that one done I'm gonna I'd like to go back to a little kit I started last year during mania and then oh flare hang on let's get out of there there we go called charming it's just so cute um, and I just had a little bit of a start I don't even know which way it goes, but a little bit of a start. And you can see it's small. I mean, this is the whole fabric. So I would like to dive into this one and just get a little bit, little bit more done on this one because I don't think it would take terribly long. And this one, thank goodness, does not have a whole lot of backstitch. Most of the backstitch is just her hair. So that's my plans on that. And then let me show you my one new start. 
It's a Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Along. And I've been so patiently waiting to start this. Flea Market Flowers. I love this piece so much. And like I said, I wanted to start it early, but I, I haven't. I've been holding off. Um, and it's going to be on uh, Malted Milk Vintage Cloth. And it's just kind of a creamy color. I just thought it'll give it just, just a little bit more. See, yeah, you can see it. I think it'll just be really pretty on that. Um, it'll help the help everything pop just a little bit more. So, um, and I and I usually do not do this, but I actually bought all of the gloss for it. I usually just use what's in my in my box. But I love this one so much that I wanted it to have its own floss. So I actually bought its own floss. It's pretty. So um, there is a group, an Instagram group, and then she's going to have a Facebook page. Colorado Cross Stitcher is doing a, a summer camp, a virtual summer camp. And um, I thought about joining that and using this. But the thing is, you have to finish it in that month. And I'm just not real sure I'm going to be able to finish this in the month of June. It looks doable, but I don't know. With my other things I have planned, I'm really not sure. I'm going to give it a try. Because for June, she said stitch on something that someone else enabled you or inspired you to stitch. And this was definitely, Pet Quarter Shop has definitely inspired me to stitch this. So, um, anyway, so if you want to join that group. <coughs> join um I said watch um Colorado Cross Stitcher and she's got a video where she talks all about her virtual summer camp that she's gonna do. It sounds like a lot of fun. So I might do it since I'm out of school anyway. And I do have a lot a whole lot more stitching time because I get up and I can stitch in the afternoon now and I can stitch late into the evening. So definitely have a lot more time to stitch. So Anyway, so I'm going to try that. She has a different um, challenge for each month. So um, I can't remember. Let's see. One of the months was stitch on a designer that you've never stitched on before. Um, and then, so uh, that was one of them. I can't remember what the other thing was. So anyway, but I was going to stitch on this anyway. So I'm like, I might as well put it. And she's actually using this one for June, which made me think, well, okay, she's going to do it, so maybe I can do it, too. Like, we can encourage each other to get it finished. So, like I said, I just can't wait. I may stay up till midnight just so I can put my first stitch in at midnight on this, because I'm super excited to stitch on this. So, and I'm anxious to stitch on the fabric. It's just, um, it's a 14-count fabric, and that will make it go a little bit quicker, too, because, like, um, let's see, uh, Kimberly, says at that quarter shop that I, I also stitch faster on my Ada than I do when I'm having to count over two. So that'll help this go quicker too. Oh, there it is. I was looking for this. So uh, yeah, it's a 14 count. So super excited to start on that. Okay, so that brings me to my haul. Uh, not very much. Most of my haul I went kind of crazy last month, so I tried to be a little more careful this month, which I did buy a few things. Stony Creek had a sale, so I did buy three patterns yesterday from them. Um, someone else had a sale. I got, oh, I know what it was. I was trying to find those little DMC stickers that uh, Kimberly talks about on Fat Quarter Shop to put on her floss, for her floss. And nobody has it. I went to Michael's. I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Joanne's. Nobody has them. So she had them on her website. So I bought those. And, of course, you can't just get that. So I, of course, bought a few more other things. So, um, But then um, so let me show you what little bit I got. <coughs> I got my floss fix um, for May. What's it called? Blushing something. Blush pink blush pink so it's all the pinks and these are all uh, classic color works and then I went to we have 
a store called the Nimble Thimble, and it's mostly quilting. But she does carry some um, Fat Quarter Shop stuff because of the fabric that she buys. And she does order a lot of that. So I noticed that she has been carrying some of the Lori Holt stuff. And she does carry uh, Weeks Dye Works and the Gentle Arts Threads. Not a very big selection, but every once in a while I'll get lucky and what I need she has. So I happened to go over there uh, last weekend, I think it was. I was looking for the calendar crates from Stitching with the Housewives because she did carry the Trucking Along series. Well, she decided not to carry the next series. So I was like, well, okay. So, but she had the Be In My Bonnet stitch cards by Lori Holt. And I've been wanting to, thought about getting those. So I did. I bought some of those. Um, and I kind of got um, kind of seasonal ones. So I got Set C, which is kind of the winter ones. I got Set D, which kind of looks like, you know, spring or summer. I got Stitch F, which of course is Halloween. And then I got Stitch H, just because, I mean, why not? Those animals are as cute as can be. I don't know when I'm gonna stitch on these. I don't know how I'm gonna stitch on these. I haven't quite decided, but I did want to get them. I think they're super cute. So anyways, um, like for these, I might, you know, make into little ornaments. And the Halloween ones I could also make, you know, into little ornaments. And the others, I'm not sure. So, anyway, but I just thought those were too cute. So, I picked those up. And she also had um, a sulky floss that I've been wanting to try. So, I bought this one. This one just is the, um, not variegated, just the regular colors. And I thought, well, I can try those just if I have something to stitch that just has, you know, basic colors and give those a try. And then um, Stitching with the Housewives, they had a sale. I'm not sure what their sale was for, but they had some kind of a sale on their Etsy shop. And I've been wanting to get some of the tier trade tidbits, so I took advantage of the sale and bought a whole bunch of them. So I bought Strawberry Seeds. Tomato seeds, carrot seeds, sweet corn seeds, radish seeds, cabbage seeds, and red, white, and blue. So I like those. I thought those would be really cute to stitch and be a fast little stitch. So I bought those. So that's it. I didn't get go too crazy this month. So I think that's about everything. Uh, like I said, school's out. Um, I have to go back in July for two uh, professional development days. And we need a new uh, kindergarten teacher, so I'm having to go up there for interviews as we try to find a new kindergarten teacher. So other than that, I'm just working at home. I'm really trying to work on getting my craft room decided on. I had my son come over yesterday. I have a loft upstairs, which has great lighting. It's got two skylights, which is great natural light. And I've already got a chair up there. But we're just trying to figure out where to put everything. Because of it being a loft, you know, it slopes down. So the one wall, there's, you know, it's pretty narrow to put much of anything. So we're trying to figure out how to make it work. I thought about using my other spare bedroom and make it into a craft room. But my son was like, well, your light's not near as good in there as it is in this other room. So we're going to try to see if I can make it work in that loft. So I'll let you know how that goes. So I hope everybody has a great week, and uh, again, happy Memorial Day to those in the States, and I will see you the end of June. Bye!